Daniel, how are you? John, y'all, I'm doing great. <laughs> Excellent. There we go. All right. So let's talk about hiring. And we, we talk about different aspects about this. What got me thinking about hiring at this point is there's a lot of firms out there laying people off, especially on the tech side. Um, we're seeing it with Amazon. We're seeing it with various companies that are laying off large groups. And what it got me thinking about is, is it time to think about when it comes to your sales team, potentially upgrading? hiring more and staying and growing, or maybe it's time to upgrade the individual or individuals on your team. Do you have some thoughts on when we see layoffs like this, the concept around going out and, and sort of reevaluating your team and seeing what kind of talent you can bring in? Of course I have thoughts on this. <laughs> Please share, do share. <laughs> I'll share. All right. So when we look at adding salespeople to a company, there's really two main reasons why that happens. One, you're bringing in a different product line or you're going after a different industry or maybe a different geographical location and you need more salespeople. Yep. That's the rarest way. The rarest okay. reason, I guess. The most common reason is we want to add salespeople because we want to increase sales. Want to grow. And, and I would venture to say that is probably the worst way to go. So it, it, and he, here's kind of a rule of thumb. Here's something to maybe help with that. If, if you take a look at your salespeople and you, um, you, you put them in a level, how good they are to how bad they are. Let's just say you give them a letter grade. A is top notch, B is mediocre, C is really poor. D would be people that are too new to figure out where they're going to go. Sure. So you put that next to all your salespeople. The A players, you kind of want to leave them alone a little bit. They, they'll, they'll, they'll get going when you want, give them some training. Most of them will take it. Some won't, but, but leave them alone. The B players is where you want to be investing your time and effort, your training, your coaching, your mentoring, because you can convert them into A players. The C players, I hate to say this, you want to get rid of them. And so I would say pare down the sales force. Mm -hmm. And then the D players, of course, you don't know where they're going to end up. So those are ones you, you put on a quote unquote probationary period of here's what we want you to be doing over the next three months. Let's make sure you do that. And, and so what I have found in coaching companies all across the, the spectrum, John, is that getting rid of the, the bottom dwellers and just devoting time and effort into those mid-level salespeople to boost them up, that's where you see the biggest bang for your buck. So what I hear you saying is the bigger point at, at if you haven't already evaluated your existing sales team, start there mm -hmm. um, and make sure you've got great clarity on whether you'd replace somebody or just skinny up the team and let the higher end handle more of the volume. Start by having that better understanding of what you have in house and a process to evaluate and consider what you want to do. Yes, Go absolutely. Through. Okay. Yep. There we go. Don't worry Hiring about one. adding, take what you have and boost it up. Hiring 101 Thank or you. not hiring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, everybody. We'll see you again one. tomorrow. All right. Bye.